السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Brothers and sisters Allah accept your good deeds May Allah bless you And may Allah make the matters easy for the whole Muslim Ummah And for all the humanity Today We are discussing with some very famous personalities But because of their Short span of the life in Islam we don't have much details but we can imagine the details so one of those women khatija radiyallahu anha who stood with the prophet sallam then after khatija very early time those who will embrace islam was sumayya bint khayyat in some narration it is khabbat ba or ya two points difference anyway khayyat radiyallahu anha so brothers i told you many times that the slaves they don't have any respect they don't have any rights they are treated like the animals which was common in the whole world people when they have the power they deal with the upper caste lower caste arabs non arabs white people black people racism so they don't have any rights if they are not from the authorities or the powerful families so one of the category was slaves similarly women they don't they, they were not having any right that time so right now she is slave and she is woman and she is ethiopian not from arabs subhanallah Can you imagine what is the value they have? They don't have the value of even the animals, cattle. So Sumayya رضي الله عنها, Sumayya bint Khayyat, her husband was Yasir, and her son was Ammar, Ammar ibn Yasir. So weak family. Her husband was not from Mecca; he was from Yemen. So he settled there. So no family to support. him in this situation they embrace islam very early and that time khabbab ibn arth after a long time he used to sometimes the people want to show, see his back so he used to show them back because in the hot coals he used to put on the hot coals until the hot coal become cold by his fat by his burnings that traces was there until his he death he, he he died similarly ammar ibn yasir radiyallahu anhu they used to pull the pull and put the rope in his neck and pull them pull him on in the street of the makkah so in that situation they are punishing and they are torturing yasir and they are torturing sumayya they are torturing ammar <sighs> prophet sallam can't do he pass by them he says sabran ya ala yasi fa inna mu'idakum al janna prophet can't do anything alone weak no followers very strong opposition so he says sabran be patient be patient remain patient fa'inna mu'idakum al janna we will meet in the janna in this dunya we can't do that so subhanallah so sumayya was the first martyr in islam so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to support this islam by khatija in the beginning and then by the blood of sumayya radiyallahu anha for this islam women aged punished suffer so jabir radiyallahu anhu narrated that they used to put him on the death and they ask him do you want to remain muslim or do you want to give up islam si shay la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah they beat they torture one day abu jahal he put him on the put her on the death then she did not accept so he 
you know with a spear and with a dagger he injured her in her private parts and split his body so she died that same time mella gave her the janna mella be pleased with her so this was the first blood which is spilt spilt in the on the earth of makka for the islam and the prophet sallam used to pass and say sabdan ya ala ya sir you can imagine illa man ukriha wa qalbuhu mutma'innun bil iman so once sumaya was very angry very upset though she was also in the shackle and he is being tortured but she saw that her son is pronouncing billati wal uzza that the gods of people of the makka so she became angry because she was put on the death they were punishing him and they are burning him putting in the water sometimes so he is not able to recover his breath so that time they are asking him to say and abuse the prophet and abuse allah subhanahu wa taala and praise the lat and the uzza so can you imagine he is the person is not able to breathe and the punishment so he says praise the lat and the uzza so sumaya heard that and she became angry so when they leave amma amma came crying to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam oh prophet i was not having any control i was not able to bear so i said something which was not my islam my iman does not allow me so that time prophet did not have the answer he waited then the wahi of allah subhanahu wa taala came came the allah said illa man ukriha wa qalbuhu mutmainun bil iman that if the person is forced and he is not able he is not able to bear and he says something against islam he does not have any blame on him and he is not be punished for that because his iman is satisfied with the manukra qalbu mutmainnum his iman is satisfied his, his heart is satisfied with iman so this was a certification from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ammar radiyallahu anhu ammar ibn yasir once ammar came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was sitting in the shade of kaaba and they are punishing they are beating they are abusing they are pulling on the streets they are putting on the hot coal to khabab and the you know similar sahaba bilal radiyallahu anhu slaves who said o oh, prophet sallam when the help and support from allah subhanahu wa taala will come so prophet sallam become upset he said you are waiting for the help and support of allah subhanahu wa taala nasrullah he says that the people who were before you previous nation they torture their flesh was taken by the iron combs from their body and they remain on islam and they were split into two pieces and they remain on the islam so you are hastening you are impatient be patient and then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that time when there are very few people they are being tortured they are not able to talk they are not able to announce about islam that time the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said by allah this islam will reach each and every corner of the world and each and every person will know about this islam and it is going to overcome all the religions subhanallah so brothers and sisters this was ammar this was yasir and this was sumayya <coughs> so in the battle of the badr at the time of the battle of the badr abu jahal also participated in the battle and he was a leader who is encouraging and pushing the people encouraging the people to fight and to kill the muslims that time abdul rahman ibn auf narrates a story that in the battle of badr there were very less muslims that time i have seen my right side i have seen my left side it was astonishing that young boys was there muaz and muawwas afra radiyallahu anhas children 
15, 16 years old. So Abdul Rahman ibn Auf says, when I saw the young boys by right and left, I felt bad. Why? Because when the attack comes, somebody should be right and left who can support. But at the same time, when I am feeling bad, so the right hand and left hand, they say, Ya Ammi, O my uncle, please, because they are the Ansari people, they don't know. They are the Ansari boys. So they say, Ya Ammi, O my uncle, can you show us who is Abu Jahal? So the same, you know, the question was from the two boys from the same time, they are the brothers. From the right and the left, they are asking the same thing because they came and it was a rose and that time they asked. So he was astonished, the same question from the two person from the two sides. He says, why you are asking Abu Jahl? So they said, we heard that he used to abuse the Prophet Sallam and torture the Muslims. We want to see. And if we see by Allah, one of the body will fell down, dead body, whether it is his body, it is my body. Abdul Rahman ibn Awaf says, when I heard astonish on their determination, on their courage. It was a matter of seconds, 20, 30 seconds, one sentence, then the answer. Abdul Rahman ibn Awaf says, when I am answered, they were asking, I am about to answer them. I saw Abu Jahl in his very strong hearts and encouraging and roaming in the rows of Kuffar, encouraging them on the fight. He says, Abdul Rahman ibn Awaf, when they asked me, just I saw, so I said that, see here, that is the person who is roaming, this is Abu Jahl. Abdul Rahman ibn Awaf says, when I saw, when I said them, they flee like a <coughs> falcon, Aqrab. falcon, you know that falcon, eagle, similar bird. And they run and they attacked him. Later on, then Abdul Rahman also, I don't know what happened. Anyway, they killed him. So when the battle was over, so Prophet Hassalam saw Abu Jahl dead body. So he called Ammar Yasir Azizullah and so he said, Ammar, Qatal Allahu Qatila Ummik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has killed the killer of your mother. Be happy, O Ammar. So, okay, brothers and sisters, this is a simple life of Sumayya radiallahu anha. We don't have much details because she was killed when she embraced Islam. What she did, but we can imagine how much patience she was having how much sacrifice she was doing. She was a poor woman, slave woman, not having the power, not having the family, and the masters are forcing her to embrace uh, to leave Islam, and she was denying until they killed her. So this is Sumayya radiallahu anha, a role model for the Muslim Ummah, a role model for our generation, and it shows us that the importance of the word deen. Well, to Thirun al Hayat, the dunya, well, Akhira to Khairun wa Abqa. You people prefer the dunya. Each and everything, our position, our status, our love, our wealth, our comfort, everything that is the dunya. And worshipping Allah, pleasing Allah is the Akhira. So Allah says, You people prefer the dunya while the Akhira is better. Well, Akhira to Khairun wa Abqa, it is better and it is going to permanently remain. So these people, Sumayya radiallahu anha and the Sahaba, they knew, they understood. So their faith was very high, very strong in the Akhirah. So they always live for the Akhirah. So this was the Sumayya radiallahu anha brothers and sisters. So I wanted today to discuss about some women. They, about their details is not there much, but we must know them. That one was the Sumayya. So another one I would like to discuss is Thalaba, the Khawla bin Thalaba, the Allah anha. So Khawla bin Thalaba, the Allah anha, is the Ansariya. Her husband was 
आउस उबन साबित अबाउट दिस वुमेन द वर्सेस इन द ट्वेंटी एथ जूस सूरा अल मुजादला قد سمع الله قول التي تجادلك في زوجها وتشتكي الى الله والله يسمع تحاوركما ان الله سميع بصير this verses reveal what was the story of salaba she embraced islam in the beginning and her husband us ibn sabit he participated in all the battles with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even in the battle of the badr and uhud and all the battles Why I mention Salaba? Because she was with her husband in all this uh, life of Islam. But when he become aged and become irritated, not having the patience, she says that her akhlaq become little bit bad because of her age. One day he become angry, and after some discussion, so he says. to his wife you are like my mother or you are like my mother's back on me that is called in arabic terminology in the fiqh terminology zihar zihar means zahara imra'atahu means uh, likening the wife to the mother so you are like the back of my mother or like my mother so it was a very very severe words of the divorce at the time of jahiliya so when he pronounced these words uh, he become upset and he went met the spend the time with the other people with his friends with the uh, gatherings and then he came back she says when he came back he wanted to enjoy and wanted to touch me i said no it is not allowed so there was a little bit dispute so she said Uh, I never allow you unless I have to ask the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So she pushed him, and when she narrated that, she, I went to my neighborhood, to my some neighbors. I took, I borrow their clothes, and they put on me that is a hijab. Then I went to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You can imagine the brothers and sisters, the simplicity and poverty, and you know, these people. Iman was. like the mountains to the uh, sky but the life and dunya is very simple so she went to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she complained what happened between her and between uh her husband so prophet was not having any answer for that so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam according to the norms he said that as long as he divorces you or he left you it is not allowed so she said oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh right now i have some small children and he become aged and i have fin- uh, you know come my my youth my youth age is over so how it would be that if i leave children with him then they will die without taking care of them anyone if our children are with me they will die because i can't spend on them so in both cases there is no so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is keeping quiet and she is arguing with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and reminding qad sami allah allah has heard mujadal argument of the woman who is tashtaki ila allah qad sami allah qala allati tudajluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila allah and whenever the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say there is no solution uh, what so he keeps quiet so she raises the hand to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says oh allah listen to my concern wallah oh solve my problem she is making that dua so allah mentioned that how she was dedicated and how high trust she was having in allah so she is asking the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam one hand the other hand she is other way she is raising the hand and Uh, complaining to Allah Subhanahu wa tashtaki ila Allah Allah mentioned that she is complaining to Allah oh Allah this is my problem solve my problem how it is possible oh Allah so brothers and sisters that is why the people 
ummahat and sahabiyah to the other people they used to say her al mujadila her title was that arguing with the prophet sallallahu so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aisha sallallahu anha says i was there in the corner of the room and you know that the corner room the house of the aisha it is it is only one bedroom that's it and that bedroom also you know sometimes the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam perform the prayer so aisha is sleeping in front of him so he touched the feet so he removed then he make the sajda so it's a very simple one room just it that is also like a hut so aisha sallallahu alaihi wasallam says she came and she is arguing and she are discussing with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i was in the corner of the house wa kana yakhfa alayya ba'd kalamiha subhanallah she was like a wish for so i was not hearing what she is complaining to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam some words i heard some words i am not able to hear aisha says then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after some time sent the verses as the solution at sami allah qawl allati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki this is the verses which reveal and in this verses allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the expiation kafara that one when he says that my you my wife you you are like my mother or those people who are mahram like daughter like wife uh, like uh, uh, sister so it is a very very great sin major sin mahunna mahatu minu mahatu millallahi waladnahum they should not say that because the mothers are those who gave the birth not the wives so it is playing with the limits of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the uh, rulings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned fatahadu raqabati min qabl itamasa faman lam yastati fa ta'amu sittina miskin adhalika latumnu so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the expiation that slave freeing a slave which is very expensive that time if it is not possible then feeding شهرين متتابعين من قبل فمن لم يصف طعام 60 مسكينا so if it is not possible then fasting for 2 months if it is not possible then feeding the 60 people this is expiation of the zihar so anyway the solution came brothers and sisters i want to inform my brothers my sisters i want to share with them see here ammar ibn yasir allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verses sa'laba Khawla bint Thalaba radiyallahu anha Allah is revealing the verses how much confidence they were having with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much they were prayers and near close to Allah that Allah is listening them Allah is answering responding to their dua because these people are avoiding the haram and depending on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anyway these verses came so Aisha is Allah anha used to say subhanalladhi wasi'a sam'ahu fawqa sab'i samawat glory be to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who hears the voice of the people even above the seven heavens i was in the corner of the house room i was not able to hear but allah has heard from the seven heavens at the same time he sent the sent jibril alayhi salam so <clears throat> brothers and sisters so this is salab khawla bint salab radiyallahu anha because of her trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his closeness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah heard his du- her dua and sent the revealing of the verses so when these verses came so freeing of the slave fasting two months continuously shahdaini mutatabiyani there is no break no interruption in between 60 days continuously or feeding 60 people so when it reached the prophet sallam said that oh prophet sallam he is a poor person he does not have anything how he can be a slave so then 60 say he is aged person old person rajulun halik is going to die hang can't so then the prophet sallam said feed 60 people he said even he does not have that time the prophet sallam says that i will give one ark that means you know that uh, one bag of the dates so she said i will give one of the one bag of the dates so that he can feed so the prophet sallam became happy from her uh, attitude with her attitude and order her to take it and you know to distribute among the poor people so this is some story of two people today that is sumayya radiyallahu anha the first martyr of islam and then 
Khawla bint Thalib radiyallahu anha, whose complaint to Allah subhanahu wa taala was heard, and the verses revealed till the day of judgment she will be remind, uh, she will be remembered by the Muslim mama, and the Muslim mama will make dua for him. These are the something I would like to share with you. May Allah bless you. May Allah accept your good deeds. May Allah reward us, and may Allah purify our intention. Amin. Wa akhu dawan. And alhamdulillah, Rabbil alamin. I would like to inform my audience that today. is uh, question answer session so it will be today uh, at same time it will be a common question answer session whatever you people have the questions about the prayer salah zakah sadaqa whatever we will ask we will answer it tomorrow inshallah and after tomorrow we will stop our uh, sessions because the 10 uh, last 10 days of the ibada is uh, uh, ramzan is going to start so that is why Uh, this is the time of ibadah instead of learning and teaching inshallah i will spend some time with allah subhanahu wa taala jazakumullah khair subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik